Uh, for me, uh, Neverland is all about escapism. The whole Peter Pan stories are all about imagining a better world. Is it the same for you guys? You feel that this is what it's about? Yeah, I think Neverland <coughs> can definitely be about escapism. It's certainly about imagination. It, it's all about Peter's imagination. But I think, and it also holds, you know, like all of your fears and your hopes and your dreams. And um, how exciting was it for you that you know Hook and Peter are friends in this one? That you, you can explore that other side of the relationship that nobody's seen on screen. Yeah, it's <clears throat> um, in terms of. I mean. The, both of them on, on this island are, are prisoners, and once Hook witnesses Peter fly for the first time, he sees his ticket out. You know, he sees his. Uh, the, it's finally possible for him to get back home to a home that he doesn't really remember. He just knows that it's not here, and um, and for him to use Peter is <clears throat> much more. It's it's all just it it's selfish. It, um, uh, he's a you know a, sort of just a child himself. So um, for them to work together in this, it's a new take. People aren't you know familiar with with this. It's not what we've seen before in any of Jan Barry's um, you know uh, uh, tellings of this story. And uh, and that's what I think is so fun about it. I think Jason Fuchs wrote such a wonderful script, and and Joe Wright's an incredible director, and we. Uh, had so much fun doing it and, and laughed our brains off and Joe would play music in between every take and he'd have this whole native village, um, 200 extras dancing all day. It was um, the experience of a lifetime. Yeah, it felt like a feast as well sometimes on those, uh, with those costumes as well. I mean, uh, the whole physicality of Tiger Lily was informed by what she was wearing and all these things. So how much yeah. fun is it for you to play with these things? Yeah, I mean, the costume was really something else it was really fun it was also kind of you know it made i had i had a lot of stunt training to do and it made all that that much harder because it wasn't that easy to fight in the costume but also so much of my body was on display so it had to be that much more precise and um i had never done any sort of fight training like that before so it was it made it a little bit more challenging i'd say and Levi, tell us about working with hugh jackman on this one was he always charismatic or sometimes intimidating as blackbeard Oh, well, yes, Blackbeard is a very intimidating character, but Hugh is lovely, so, and brilliant actor. It was, yes, it was a pleasure working with him. <laughs> and finally, on Joe Wright and making his vision uh, come to the screen, how much was it an enjoyment to work with him and follow what he had in mind? And I've, I've always uh, been such a fan of Joe Wright's films. Um, I think he's one of the greatest directors working today, and to watch um, his mind work like this, his attention to detail, um, and his passion as well. He's so extremely passionate uh, when it comes to telling stories he wants to tell and for the reasons he wants to tell them. This one in particular, when I first met with Joe, he'd said, uh, my child's having night terrors and, and he's waking up and has horrible nightmares. and. He said, I want to make this film as, as dark as I possibly can to show kids everywhere that no matter how dark the nightmare is or, or you know, the fear that you can overcome it. And I, I yeah. thought that was incredible. Yeah, Joe's amazing. He really made it so, so special. He was always playing music and just the energy on set was like, we'd have 200 extra sometimes and they were always so full of energy and that was really because of Joe. Um, so it was really, really exciting to work with him and to watch it come to life. And his son was constantly coming on set. And so that was really sweet and exciting because we were getting to see how excited he was. And um, his son would be running around calling everybody by the Where's Tiger Lily? <laughs> so <laughs> Peter, cute. come on, Peter, let's go. And so it was, um, yeah. Feel He's like very it musical, too. Like one time I, w I was watching him shoot a scene with Hugh. And he was shooting it to the song, like, you know, to the beat of the song. And it was so cool to watch that. And um, he's really, really good with that kind of thing. And so it was really fun to just have music blasting all day long.